Hello, my name is Adrian Richards. I'm a plastic uh, surgeon and I'm the surgical director of Aurora Clinics, which is based here in the United Kingdom. Today I'd like to talk about a really worrying development in the cosmetics uh, industry, which is the introduction of cheap, substandard uh, Botox into the market. So every day I get an email from a company, normally in China, offering me very cheap Botox. Now the problem with this is that Botox is an extremely powerful substance um, and when produced by the companies Allergan and Galderma and Mertz is very stringently tested for its efficacy. Now it's one of the most powerful toxins in the world, the botulinum uh, toxin. It's very effective at treating wrinkles, particularly in the fore, you know, the frown areas, forehead and crow's feet. But the problem is in, uh, in excess doses it can cause really serious problems and this is illustrated in a book which is called From Beauty to Botulism in which a couple in America were treated with substandard uh, Botox um, from a non-recognised source and spent four months um, being ventilated that's having their breathing done for them um, by a ventilator on an intensive care unit because the botulinum toxin paralysed their muscles. We're even seeing now a DIY Botox uh, uh, kit which is available to buy on the internet and when this comes uh, through to you it's got a DVD with how to do uh, your own Botox, um, uh, Chinese lettering on the Botox uh, vials um, and a syringes and a needle. Now the problem comes in that this Botox may work, it may not work, it may be dangerous. The most worrying thing is it may be dangerous. Analysis has shown that the uh, botulinum toxin, um, when looked at, contains, in most cases, much less active Botox than normal. So being less is less dangerous than being more. But in two cases, the Botox was found to be more powerful than the equivalent Botox from the recognised distributors. And that is extremely worrying, because if any practitioner buys this um, foreign Chinese, uh, Chinese um, uh, Botox and gives it in the standard doses, they are going to overdose the patient with Botox. The other worrying thing is the preservative used in the uh, Botox was gelatine in many cases. Now gelatine is not used in the Botox that we buy from the recognised companies because it can cause allergic reactions. So when injected in some people it will cause acute anaphylaxis which involves swelling, difficulties in breathing and in some cases you can die because you can't uh, breathe like in a very severe asthma attack. So my advice is to any of you out there who are considering a DIY Botox uh, kit, don't do it. To any practitioners who may be tempted by a slightly cheaper uh, Botox uh, from abroad, again don't do it. You need to make sure that the Botox you buy and use on your patients if you're a practitioner is from a recognised company, uh, three main uh, companies, Allergan, Mertz and Galderma, and then you'll know you're safe. If you are um, looking for Botox uh, treatment out there, be very aware of any uh, offers that seem too good to be true. So any offers, uh, Botox for three areas from £99, be very, very wary because they may be using this uh, foreign uh, counterfeit Botox. So thank you very much for watching the video which I hope you found useful and informative. For more information please visit our blog or our website aurora-clinics.co.uk, listen to our podcasts which are on iTunes and are the Plastic Surgical Podcast, the Cosmetic Surgery Podcast and the Cosmetic uh, Cause Podcast and we've also got lots of videos, over 200 in fact, on YouTube which you might find uh, interesting and informative. Thanks for watching.